You probably didn't hear all that much about electric ship for the simple reason there's not that many of them out there. So when a company says it's about to launch the world's largest electric ship, it's not as impressive as it may sound. It could prove a game changer though, for the naval industry. The company that makes this claim is called Incat Tasmania. The Australians have been in the business of making catamaran ferries for the past four decades, and they claim to be on the verge of rewriting maritime history. All thanks to a ship called Hole 096. Standing 426 feet long, 096 will be capable of carrying over 2,100 passengers and 225 vehicles, and it will do so in the service of ferry operator Buquibus, traveling the seas between Argentina and Uruguay. The ship was initially supposed to run on liquefied natural gas, but plans changed and a full electric drive system was chosen instead. One that comprises 250 tons worth of batteries, capable of storing 40 megawatts of power. That is, by all accounts, four times the capacity of any other existing electric ship, and about as much as 487 Teslas are capable of holding together. The energy will be used to power the ship on the surface of the water at speeds of up to 29 miles per hour. Despite the incredibly large collection of batteries, the fact that Hull 096 will have to transport a lot of weight means its range won't be extraordinary. At best, it will be capable of going as much as 115 miles on a single charge. We've known this ship is coming for a while now, but we're talking about it again because INCAT announced when the largest electric vehicle of its kind, and its most important product ever, will be unveiled in full on May 2, 2025. The ship's impellers and water jets have already been installed, with the propulsion and energy storage systems currently en route to the assembly facility in Tasmania. The interior of the ferry, which will be home to the largest retail shopping space on any ship of this kind in the world, 25,000 square feet, is on schedule as well. Work on the ship will continue after its official launch, with INCAT planning to complete the interior fit-out and the installation of the batteries later on. Once everything is in place, Hull 096 will go out on water for trials in Hobart's River Derwent. INCAT plans to make a habit out of building electric ships of this size, and perhaps ever larger, and that may give birth to an entirely new class of vessels. It's unclear exactly when the first example of this class will enter service.